Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So, uh, I went to the thrift store and got a ton of 80s vintage G.I. Joe, so I want to show it off. So welcome in. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great toy videos, 80s, 90s, nostalgic videos, and things of that nature. Yeah, uh, I scored, well, sort of scored. Uh, I paid a lot of money, but there was vintage 80s G.I. Joe in the thrift store. Uh, I have another channel, Radical Reseller, the Radical Reseller, where I focus on selling on eBay. So on that channel, I unbagged everything. If you want to go and check that out, I have a video that I just posted where I unbag everything. Um, so if you want to kind of like see a mystery unbagging, but now for this channel, um, I've got everything kind of like laid out, uh, so I know a little bit more exactly what I have. Exact, you know what I mean? So. Uh, some pretty incredible stuff and the condition on some of this stuff is like blows my mind so um, I was planning on selling this stuff and I, I guess I still am because I really can't afford to justify pay I paid almost 400 bucks for this stuff so uh, but it's incredible so I'll show you everything that I got all right first off here's the uh, loose figures and a few uh, like accessories and stuff that were included in the lot so all this stuff was in different bags all bagged up um, the figures that were in there generally except for a few uh, there's other figures that were drivers for the vehicles that I'll get into those when I show the vehicles but uh, generally the figures look good other than obviously needing the o-ring replacement uh, good condition figures uh, there was a Galobulus he's really nice and uh, complete with his weapon uh, as well as Zorana looks good and complete so that's nice we got uh Ricondo not complete I think he just had his backpack but the figure itself looks pretty pretty good uh we had the Hiss tank driver and I've been looking at that on eBay and I'm, that that Cobra symbol if I'm correct that seems like a lot of those Cobra symbols are gone on the Hiss tank drivers look at that Cobra symbol so there's a nice his tank driver. I didn't have a his tank in the lot, so that's why I'm showing it. Um, uh, Gung Ho, a little bit of color change in his arms, but the figure itself is pretty nice and he's complete with his weapon in his backpack. And then we had uh, Spirit here. Uh, it is com uh, Spirit is complete and he looks good too. Really good, really good condition figure. Uh, complete with his little... Uh, sash or whatever it is his backpack his weapon and uh his eagle with the claws really nice eagle so really nice figures that's that's what's making it hard to to sell it these things are so nice um so other random accessories that i got that didn't necessarily go with anything well one thing was this uh what do they call this i forgot already it's a cobra uh battle suit so you put a figure in there it's missing a few of the arm attachments but i got the legs and the arms and some of the attachments and the little rubber band thing that connects it all together so that's pretty cool pretty neat little accessory pack there was one accessory for uh the cobra mamba uh one of the shuttle pods nice condition got decals on the windshield there two of the missiles for it and then we had some random accessories uh this is uh uh oh this uh i had the other one somewhere is that what's his name is it snow serpent i'm sorry i there's so many names for gi joe had that i have the other one uh this i don't remember who this goes to does anybody know that's the one thing I think I haven't been able to identify. Uh, this is uh, the pouch for uh, uh, Tunnel Rat. Uh, and then these, I, lo I, know, I looked up what they go to, but they go to those, some of those early, uh, you know, not vehicles, but like little battle stations, kind of like a artillery station or something like that. And then we had uh, probably the best accessories that didn't have a figure to go with them is uh, Shipwrecks gun and his uh his uh docking hooks or whatever they call them his hooks so that's a pretty nice piece 
So that was the loose figures and little mini accessories. So now the rest is vehicles and like their drivers and stuff, well, with the exception of one uh, little base type deal. All right, next I'm gonna show you the vehicles that weren't in quite the best condition. So we got uh, uh, Sergeant Slaughter's tank was at the Triple T. So it's kind of dirty and dingy. Uh, I think it's I think it's missing something on the top. It's missing one of the missiles, and then one of the the thing that holds this this tread is cracked right there. I don't think that's a huge deal, but also the color isn't like super great. Maybe it's okay. Other than that, it's pretty decent. It's got the decals and everything. So. I mean, it's probably not a lost cause, but it wasn't as good as some of the other ones I'm about to show you here sh shortly. And then we had the uh, Awe Striker. Got nice decals and everything, and I don't know how hard it is to for people to find those little headlights, but, uh, you know, it's missing the top gun, and there, this has some damage there. And I think this might have some damage on it, too. So, Awe Striker, not the great, not, not super great condition. And then we had the Hydrofoil uh a lot of parts here of course these back machine guns uh, uh half of them are are broken off in there uh i think both windshields are are unbroken the other windshield is right here so the condition of the the boat itself is kind of like has some sticky gunk on it and stuff not perfect but uh, uh a lot of the parts are there but I, I think it's still missing quite a bit, nowhere near to being complete. Um, that's the one one I didn't really go to in great detail because there's just so many parts to this thing. And uh, this one has a lot of dirt on it too that needs to be clean. Here's some of the missiles in there. And I got a lot of the bombs and chairs and and all that stuff. I think these are go to this. Oh yeah, they do, I'm pretty sure. So I got to continue. Oh, there's that other ski, snow ski. So I gotta work on this one a little bit more, but I'm showing it because it these were the ones that were not in as good a condition as some of the other stuff. All right, here's some that were nice condition and complete. We got that Swamp Masher, nice. Got the machine gun on the top. Got both the missiles. I'm pretty sure that's complete. Everything looks in good order. Got the decals and everything. That's a nice piece. Good condition. So. There's the uh, old Swamp Masher, pretty neat. And then we got the Cobra Adder. Decals look good. This one's complete. I don't think this one's a hard one to complete. It doesn't have anything to it, but looks in good condition. This needs to be dusted off. Nice Cobra Adder. So nice two little uh, smaller vehicles. Here's the old school uh, Mobat tank, uh, needs to be cleaned off but uh i just didn't test it yet but i see a lot of the decals are intact looks good got the tank tread it's got the battery cover uh, if this tests out i think it's a good one uh, condition wise there's a little bit of wear i was going to show you the battery cover yeah the battery compartment has no corrosion so i think this guy should have a driver but other than that i think it's complete and if it tests out uh, should be a nice one there's that nice gi joe logo i uh, almost forgot about this guy the uh tactical battle platform uh missing the most hard to find piece which is the uh little computer station with the windshield but it had some decent pieces uh like the antenna uh, a lot of the pieces are there I don't know. This is the only other one besides the uh, the um, the Moray uh, uh, hydrofoil that I didn't really really go into in depth and really set it up and make sure see what I had. But tactical battle platform with a lot of the stuff. All right. Next we had the Persuader uh, with the driver. So uh, it wasn't complete, but I actually had this main cannon, so I added that to it, and I think that's complete now. Got the main cannon, the little little gun and six missiles decals are looking pretty nice i think it looks pretty good it's a nice persuader um, really nice and clean just needs to be dusted off a little bit um, and then the driver does need a new o-ring i can see the o-ring's already busted 
but I think that's a complete driver with his helmet and his gun. <laughs> that's a funny gun. So that was a nice one. Very nice piece. Here's a really awesome one, the Havoc, uh, just because it, <clears throat> I think it's 100% complete and the condition of it is really, really nice. So the Havoc, the windshield looks really good. Uh, the only thing was, yeah, these, some of these little uh, tread covers like wanna pop out, but I think that's probably, I'm guessing that's a common thing. So everything on this looks good. The, the windshield is really not scratched up at all. Got the decals on it. Nice decals, all the missiles. And we got that uh, nice hovercraft with the decals. Very nice piece. And even the driver just needs to be re-o-ringed and he looks really good. No scuffs or scratches on him at all. So really nice havoc that one's that one looks really good condition wise here's a really cool one because i had this is one i one of the few 80s gi joes i opened as a kid i had uh the thunder machine dreadnoughts thunder machine uh very nice condition this one blows my mind the condition is so nice it's dusty but other than that man it looks good decals are great it's got the antenna it's got the steering wheel so i think it's 100 percent complete so to, for these to be in bags in the thrift store is like blows my mind that they made it they made it complete you know got the tail light decals everything all the covers and then the driver thrasher very nice condition again just needs to be re-o-ringed um and uh there's his weapon so complete uh thunder machine so awesome before I got to the grand finale, I almost passed up this Stinger. I forgot about it. <laughs> uh, we got the Stinger. The vehicle itself is pretty nice. It's just really dusty. It's missing three missiles, and I think that's all there it would be to, for it to be a nice Stinger. And then we got the original driver, but he does have a little crack in his joint there. And the color fading, there, it's a bit color faded for the original driver. Otherwise, still pretty decent. Um, so the vintage Cobra Stinger just needs to be dusted off and I don't know some people probably wouldn't be satisfied with the condition of the driver uh, get a couple missiles for it and it's good to go all right here's the grand finale and but before that I forgot uh, I forgot to show you for the the hydrofoil boat I did have the original driver the the Lamprey very nice condition just needs to be o-ringed again so I had forgotten about that oh yeah he, he has some paint loss on his hand but other than that, pretty nice. So there's another driver I forgot about. So the grand finale, the uh, Cobra Knight Raven, Raven, I would say 90% complete. That might be, maybe, maybe that's conservative, maybe 95% complete. It's only missing one more of this, of these things, the two missiles and the, the, the missile pod. Uh, so missing about, uh, 20 to 25 dollars worth of uh parts if you want to uh that's if you care about it having decals on it if you want the decals you probably 30 for 30 bucks you can probably get the missiles with the decals and the pod so this is one of the pods and then so yeah everything's there uh, got the shuttle got both of the wings with this their special decals these uh, exhaust flaps or whatever they're called got the this gun with the uh, little uh, black cover on it all the decals seem to be there uh, there's one decal that did fall off on one of the on one side of the wing I have the decal other than that all the decals seem to be really nice uh, we got the driver of course the uh, uh, the strato viper pretty decent condition he does have a little bit of a rusty look to the some of the screws on his inner thighs and his back but other than that it's a nice condition, nice paint uh, condition, Strato Viper. So very nice. Um, there's the other side. There's that other unique decal, and oh, I think it was on this side of the wing, right here, where there was a little uh, one of these kind of serial number types decals that fell off that I have. So all that's complete. Um, take this off real quick.
the underside everything's everything's complete there there's the uh the uh cockpit that comes out it has the seats and everything um the afterburners and the intakes are there uh the mechanism works great uh for the landing gears uh and then the bomb door with the two missiles one of them fell out but there it is so yeah cobra night raven what an incredible vehicle so awesome um and to be able to find it only missing one of these in, in in the thrift store i had to it was in it was spread out between multiple bags of all the stuff i bought to be able to to achieve this um who knows maybe i th i did leave a few bags behind maybe the other one of these was in there but again i think for 30 dollars or less you can get the the other side the equivalent of this you know with the decal on the uh, this one's on the right side if you look at it this way you could get it with the cover decal on the other side and and the missiles with the decals on them if you really wanted to otherwise for probably less than 20 bucks you can get these pieces but there it is uh, incredible stuff now i'm having a real hard time I, my plan was to sell this stuff uh, i guess it still is but uh boy it's tough man when you have this stuff in your hands especially whenever it's in really not the, the condition is what really gets me especially for this vehicle here uh that havoc and then that thunder machine and even the persuader a lot of those the condition was just so good it's like you know you could keep it and not have to deal if you ever wanted to collect you don't have to deal with the hassle of trying to find that right one that's in the perfect condition and everything oh man the condition's so good just need to be dusted off and that's it and they're ready to go ready to be displayed in a collection well there it is wanted to show it you know, to my toy channel whether i decide to keep them or not um uh, i really can't afford it so i probably got to sell them but uh at least i can showcase them once on my channel so that's cool and again if you want to go check out when i unbag it and everything and see it for the first everything that i have for the first time uh, you can check it out on my radical reseller channel so hope you enjoyed this guys please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one